I have my pen blank vise adjusted so that when it's closed up, it just nicely closes up right on the bit here and everything is centered up nice. Also, I got it adjusted so that when it goes all the way down and it's right at the bottom of the uh, travel, as far as it'll go, it's just not quite touching the, uh, the base of the vise, <laughs> which I accidentally uh, forgot to do once. Anyway, and then what I do is I'll use something like this so that when I go all the way through, it'll start going into the wood and the bottom of the blank will not push out. It'll cut out instead of being pushed out. At least that's the plan. And it seems to work out pretty good. So anyway, let's drill the holes. Now because the blank is a little bit translucent, you can actually see the bit through the blank. Notice it turning there? I'm going to be talking about that. I went ahead and drilled out the blue one exactly the same way. Now of course you remember seeing the bit turning inside that translucent pink blank. Well, one of the viewers made the suggestion if you don't want the brass tube to be seen, paint it. Now I imagine he meant paint it the same color as the blank, or maybe white. Now the only paint I've got is white paint. It's just household wall type white paint and it's very thick. I won't be able to fit the brass tube into the hole I just drilled. Anyway, I'm going to just take a chance here and see what happens. I might be sorry, I might not. We'll soon know. Now this isn't tight, it's just sort of sitting on there just to hold this down. Okay, now I believe the other end is cured. Should be able to pull this out very carefully. The elastic band pulls out any of the excess CA glue that's in this end before it cures. And once again, I did the blue one exactly the same way as I did the pink. Now, when I first started using the curing agent on CA glue, I noticed it turned white like that, and I used to think that the CA glue turned white all the way through. I've been using it for quite a while, until all of a sudden I realized it's only on the surface. Sort of a little powdery thing gets going there. But the uh, CA glue itself actually still stays clear if you, scra if you scrape away that powder. Oh, I thought that was kind of interesting. And I thought you might find it interesting too. Now obviously this is the other end. And it's kind of hard to see, but 
there is a little bit of residue there that the uh, rubber band did not pull out and it's very important that you get that out even though it's minute because if you don't and if your pen parts are rather tight to start with you're definitely going to be having a problem if you don't get that out of there. Let's take a look at the blue one. You see the residue there. Now that residue is probably not very thick but I'm going to get it out of there anyway. Might be only a thousandth of an inch but sometimes that thousandth of an inch can make the difference uh, you know if your parts fitting good or your parts fitting not so good. Now this barrel trimmer shaft is a perfect fit for this brass tube and a person would think well why don't you just you know push it all the way in and then just pry it, the, the uh, um, plug out but what if there's a little bit of uh, CA glue fastened to both the end of the uh, brass tube and to your blank especially on wood and there's a chance that you know if you pry it out you know by forcing it out it probably would work but then it might take some of the wood with it and um, yeah and if you've got uh, very little to, t to take down here with a barrel trimmer uh, what's going to happen is uh, the end of your uh, your uh, pen blank after it's turned down is going to have a little nick in it so what I do is I like to take it down with this cutter even though this cutter is just a little bit too small if I'm careful I should be able to just drill through there and there was a little bit of CA glue on there but uh, you know now the rest I'll do by hand I'll just sort of plow it out from the inside Oh, one more thing, and I've mentioned this before. You do have to be very careful that you don't accidentally ream out the inside of your brass tube when you're using one of these, because this is extremely sharp, and, and it will cut the inside of the brass tube and, and, and enlarge it. So, and that you don't want, or your pen parts are gonna be loose. And once again, Gotta be careful not to enlarge the inside of the brass tube because you can dig into it. Anyway, you get the idea. And just take a little bit at a time. Now here I can I can actually see where I've actually cut into the brass tube just a little just a little tiny bit of little tiny bit of brass on the end there now I know you can't see it but I can see it 